So we just hit over 40,000 miles on this baby the other day. Um, I've been trying to keep the miles off her. I have the uh, Ford, as you know. Uh, so I kind of try and split the miles between the two. If I'm going to be going far or something like that, and I don't really necessarily care about, you know, driving this sexy beast, I'll take the Ford, put all the miles on that, and then keep this baby fresh for when I need her. Uh, one thing a lot of people don't really talk about is is the interior of the trucks and how they've set them up to be comfortable for themselves. Uh, you know, looking uh, looking pretty, depending on your priorities, can either be uh, first or second best to being comfortable. You know, we spend a lot of time on the road, especially me being a contractor. I'm always on the road, uh, so we want to make sure that these vehicles are set up where we can sit in an hour and a half, two hours of traffic and not feel like monster trucking over top of every car around you even though it still happens so I had a little something something sent to me it's sitting right there in that box we'll open that box in a minute and uh, what that is is just something to uh, make a vehicle more comfortable make it safer make it more user-friendly uh, but before we get to that we'll kind of take a little peek at you know some of the things I got in my truck that I, I always have on me I try and set up all my vehicles the same that way, you know, if I'm switching between vehicles, I'm never, you know, I never forget something or forget to put something back in that I took out of one of the other vehicles because that drives me nuts. So some of the things I always have in my vehicles, and this one is first and foremost, most important, big old bottle of hand sanitizer. I use this shit like a fish uses water. I don't even know if that makes sense. It doesn't matter. Uh, Every vehicle I have has a giant one of these in it, as well as you gotta have the little ones for you know when you gotta run into a restaurant or something. So, always fully stocked on hand sanitizer. Next up, we got the extra spearmint, the only, and I mean only, gum that I chew. Then, I'm sure by now you all have seen these fidget spinners. Yeah, these things, uh, depending on what you want to use them for, blah, 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 blah. We can go into details later, but they make traffic a lot more bearable. Let's just put it that way. Um, let's see. My phone, speaking of, always sits right here. Now, Chevy designed this great ramp right here that, uh, should you slam on the brakes, really loves to send your phone flying and if you're lucky it lands in the cup holder it rarely lands in the cup holder more likely it lands down here or it'll fly over there or it'll fly over here so I don't know what they were thinking with that but uh it's not a great spot for it all right so we're back at HQ let's show you what's in the box did anybody else have to worry about their door hitting the top of the garage that's how you know you lifted it right. All right, let's get a box here. So everybody loves a good unboxing video, right? So like I was saying earlier, uh, what's in this box is gonna make driving safer, uh, makes it more convenient for you, makes your truck more comfortable, depending on what you're into and, and, and kind of the style of driving you do. So this was sent to me by Pro Clip USA. Uh, you know, they make any kind of clip for uh, phones, tablets, uh, you know, whatever devices you use for work, all kinds of things. Check out their website, Pro Clip USA. Uh, I'll put a link in down in the uh, description for you. So they contacted me, said, "Hey, we make a, uh, a clip for your truck. It's vehicle specific. Uh, we think we got the best clip out there, and if you would let us, we'd like to send you one." So obviously, I'm not going to turn that down. And well, here we are. Let's see what we got. First up, got a Pro Clip t-shirt with a nice thank you card. Pretty sweet. Thank you guys. Next we got the Pro Clip center mount. And then, so what these are, are they're vehicle specific. And the reason I like them is because they don't 
permanently attached to your vehicle. What ProClip does is they find a seam somewhere in your dash or anywhere and each vehicle is different and they figure out a way to integrate a clip into that so you're not gluing to your dash, you're not taping to your dash, you're not drilling into your dash, you're not permanently altering anything. I don't like to permanently alter my stuff for something I may or may not like. So with this, it gives you the option, just clips right in, it looks factory, it feels factory, and I, I think they're on something pretty badass here. Uh, as you can see, you know, they're pretty specific to the vehicle. What they look like on the back. Boom, so this is the mount. And then on top of specifying which vehicle it's for, you then specify which phone you have, and then you get your phone holder. So this is the adjustable holder for small to medium cases. So I specified, you know, your iPhone 7 is what I got, and then you specify whether or not you're running a case. Obviously, I'm running a case, which is the small, slim otter box. So with that, you know, they give, they send me the holder. So basically it's a two part thing. You select your vehicle, you select your phone with or without a case, and you have the whole set. And I believe that's everything. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's go give this thing a try. All right. So we are back in the truck here. Let's set up a couple cameras. All right, so I wanna do this same way you guys would. I have not been prompted on how to install this, so we're gonna we're gonna go about it together here. I'm assuming we're opening the center mount first. So let's get that bad boy opened. Let's see what the old directions say. Alright guys, so let's start with the mount. You're going to take your gap opener that they've included. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slide it in between the seam above the screen and just below this plastic piece. So slide your gap opener in. You're going to want to kind of pop that gap open. You're going to want to take the bottom piece which has the 3M tape on it. I don't think you need to use it. I don't plan on using it. The ProClip USA will be up and you're gonna slide that in next to your gap opener. And then you bring the top down and push her back and boom, she clips right into place. She's super secure. Uh, we can, with a little force, slide her side to side if you'd like. That's why I didn't want to tape it. Like I said, I don't like things being permanent. So yeah, she seems super solid. So now that you got your uh, faceplate put on, you're gonna to wanna to take the part that actually holds the phone. You're gonna to wanna to loosen up the two outer screws here. And what that does is it allows you to adjust for the size because every case is gonna be different. And it's pretty sweet that they made those move at the same time. They really didn't have to. That's a sweet touch. So you're going to slide your phone in, tighten them up to it, and then pull your phone out. I guess it helps you put your phone the right way. Let's go that way. All right, and then you're going to want to pull your phone out without adjusting the width. Come in, tighten those two screws back down. And you are set for your phone width. Now undo this center screw here. Now what this does is it allows you to mount your phone specific clip to our base plate here. So you kind of have options I'm assuming. Either side, there's six holes, it only takes four. I'm gonna swing it right over here dealing with little screws a little screw in the hole all right so you got to screw in your four screws and then once you have all four screws screwed in take your center piece here screw it back on and 
and then figure out where you want it before really tightening it up. I think I'm going to point it towards me. There, once we got that, slide your phone in. Bada bing, bada boom. This thing's super solid. I mean, even without being taped, like it won't slide back and forth. I thought it was going to be an issue of blocking the screen, but being that your phone only comes to the bottom and doesn't grab it in the middle like a lot of mounts do, it keeps it up and out of the way. But right where you need it, it's right in my line of sight. I can see it well. I dig it. I mean, this is, this is quality. So if you guys are in the market for the best way of mounting your phone in your vehicle, I mean, this, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best I've ever seen. ProClip USA, ProClipUSA.com. Go give them a follow, boys and girls. And it's 2017, so I guess anything in between. All right, guys, so that was just a little short one today. I have the uh, video with all the lighting on the truck coming. It's being edited right now, and then it'll be posted up. So if you subscribe, it will show up and let you know that I've posted it. Also, we've got a bunch of uh, Work Forward Apparel stickers that showed up today. So if you head over to workforwardapparel.com, every order is going to get some stickers thrown in with it. And yeah, if you could, please like, comment, subscribe, share, and remember, always support single moms.